Tiga, 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 tiga.
used to sell Avon when I was a kid. Yeah. We'd get the shipments coming in every week, and I got to go through the boxes and help sort out the stuff for my mom as she was getting ready to put it in the bags and go deliver them. And a lot of the aftershaves and the colognes came in crazy little decanters. Yeah. One was, a, I remember, a, a space helmet. It was awesome. Like, I want this when I grow up. Yeah. Yeah. He's talking fire hydrants. And ducks. And ducks. From all the fire hydrants and, the, and ducks in the world don't add up to one, one bottle of Dracar. One bottle of yeah. Dracar. Uh, yeah, I think that's pretty close-minded. I'm not listening to anything. This is not LeBron James. I love Kate Cunningham. I want to take Kate Cunningham. But damn right I'm going to listen. Okay, who's the last lone surviving staffer supporter on this radio station? Uh, it might have been others. I apologize. Okay, I don't want to overlook anyone. I think anybody. you were one. Okay. Oh, Le- Leeds may have one. What? Uh, love the trade. If I, if I had said, close the door, never trade Stafford, wouldn't have got three picks, including two first-rounders and Jared Goff, which had a 97% approval rating amongst our audience. And I'll tell you this, 97% of people in Detroit did not dislike Matthew Stafford. You cannot close your minds to an offer like this. What Zach Lowe was talking about. I'm quickly saying no to the James Wiseman 7-14 and 14 deal that they were discussing. But could another player in two picks, two first-rounders, get it done? Yes. Yes. 248-539-9797. Enter its lunch. It's Carson Anderson, 97 won the ticket. Market, you'll find Fisher Investments is different than other money managers. Fisher is different? How? Don't you just ride the wave? Nope. We actively manage client portfolios based on our forward-looking views of the market. In times like these, we understand that clients want proactive communication and guidance. You don't just provide cookie-cutter portfolios? No. We get to know our clients so we can tailor their portfolios to their specific goals and needs. We even offer resources on Social Security, Medicare, tax efficiency, and more. Our primary goal is to help them achieve a comfortable retirement. But you still sell investments that generate high commissions, right? No, we don't sell commission products. Fisher Investments is a fiduciary, the highest standard for a financial advisor. It means we're there for our clients and always put their interests first. So when do you make more money? Only when your clients make more money? Yep, our fees are transparent, structured so we do better when our clients do better. Visit FisherInvestments.com to find out why investors like you are switching to us. Fisher Investments, clearly different money management. Investing in securities involves the risk of loss.
kind of just get some advice because he's been the top. He's always been the ace swing on the ball. So I like I like the lead off spot and that's a place where I like to stay. Adu is on an 11 game hitting streak, which is third longest in Major League Baseball right now. <laughs> he had three hits with an RBI double in last night's loss. The Tigers and Astros set to go again at Comerica Park this evening at 7:10, right here on 97.1 The Ticket. A report from the NBA says that the Mavericks are closing in on hiring Jason Kidd as their new head coach after they lost Rick Carlisle, who quit and signed on with the Pacers. High school track star Hobbs Kessler are getting closer to qualifying for the Tokyo Games.
as an acknowledgement of wrongdoing, but probably more important, helping them cope with what has, it's just awful. It's just another awful account of what was allowed to have happened. Uh, also, we brought up the, the trade proposals uh, from Zach Lowe, things that, that he thinks, he suspects Oklahoma City will get involved trying to get to the number one pick, but also there's some scuttlebutt that Golden State is trying to get to the number one pick. If you miss the particulars, we're playing for you coming up later, but just buckle up for a month and a half of this, because yep. there's going to be a lot of this. There's going to be a lot of, of speculation. I mean, <laughs> we should know this because we have been on the other end of it in other sports trying to finagle our way into This is true. <laughs> and um, look, we have how long before the NBA draft? In July? It usually is. Um, how soon after the NBA finals are going to have it? But July 29th. Okay, so July 29th. Um,
Pete Stank. Yeah. Yeah. Remember that Dr. Uh, Dr. Scholes, man? They got to. It's my favorite foot powder, yeah. 248539 Let's go to Leonard in Detroit. Yeah, 97. Hi, Leonard. Finding clothes. 
gross and your fit is impossible? Tired of feeling overwhelmed with options that just aren't right? Let the experts at Stitch Fix do the shopping for you. At Stitch Fix, we make sure each piece is hand-selected for your life. So whether you're staying home or on the go, Stitch Fix has the answer for what to wear. We make it easy to find what works for you. Signing up takes just a few minutes, and styles are delivered directly to your door. Get started today at stitchfix.com. Stitch Fix, your style delivered. Starting Stronger starts at AutoZone, where they've got battery solutions in the form of free battery testing, free battery charging, and replacement batteries that fit your needs. That's what makes them America's number one battery destination. Get in the zone. AutoZone. Let your voice be heard. Call the D Las Vegas 97 on the ticket studio line at 248-539-9797. The D Las Vegas, the home for Detroit sports in Vegas. The Detroit Tigers host the Houston Astros. Pre-game tonight at 6.50 on 97.1 The Ticket. Allegedly, the Tigers host the Astros. See what the chance of rain is tonight at 6.50. Which is broadcast time. Um, could be played. It's only a... 70% chance of rain at 7 o'clock. Depends on the kind of rain. I'm not sure it's it does. rain. Well, I mean, no, no, it here's, does. Here's, here's why. Because it's raining all day, the field will be able to water. It's getting rain. So even if it's raining yeah. lightly. Okay. I, they're not playing it. <laughs> Look at this. Is, um, rain, low 67, winds uh, 10 to 20 miles an hour. Chance of rain, 80%. Rainfall around half an inch. A lot of rain. A lot of rain, and it's not going to let up for like the next week. They're in Cleveland next week. They are in. They have come home to Chicago. I mean, it's just supposed to rain and rain and rain. We need rain. Yeah. Hopefully, some of these days are just scattered. Scattered. Yeah. Well, there's a lot of makeup things. Uh. Okay. So we did have a a shoot the boot guarantee made by. Mary show. We did. Uh, at the beginning of this baseball season, the game charged out of the gate with no hitter after no hitter after no hitter. The number got up to six. And that is when our producer Kang went on the air and said that they would break the record. You say they would break the record or tie the record? Break. Which is eight? Yes, the record's eight. Eight no hitters. So they break the record of eight no hitters. So he needs a minimum of nine no hitters. What was interesting is that in the last couple of weeks, baseball decided to enforce rules as it pertains to sticky stuff. Uh, and it could impact the quality of pitching and hence slow down the no hit, no hit pace that has been going on. Uh, but last night we got our seventh no hitter. As the Chicago Cubs no hit the LA Dodgers. If you are wondering what side uh, one of the members of this show is rooting for, during the previous commercial break, Gator said, and I quote, effing Dodgers couldn't get one hit. <laughs> well, in fairness, that had absolutely nothing to do with K. Sure. <laughs> no, it didn't, because who, who threw the no hitter? The Cubs. There you go. That's why. Well, we know. I just know, honestly, it had nothing to do with Kang. It had everything to do with the fact that the Cubs did. And he hates the Cubs. He followed it up by saying, Cubs took three pitchers to do it, figures. Exactly. (laughs) So he does. It's such a Cub no hitter. He does hate the Cubs. They cobbled it together. But but at the same time, Kang, you now are at seven. You know, I'm not going to get cocky, guys. I feel good, though. Obviously, I wouldn't have felt, uh, you know, I wouldn't have said that I would shoot the boot if I didn't feel good at the time. And this is just one more. We got uh, two more to go. And taking that game by game. Game by game. You know, I didn't expect a combined no-hitter for my seventh one. But um, no-hitter nonetheless. Yeah, exactly. I'll take it. it. Counts. Four pitchers combined for no-hits gave up eight walks total. Nobody, nobody scored. Eight walks. Eight walks. The starter went six innings. You know Davis went six like? innings. Gave up five walks. That's that's a little league. No-hitter. It is a little league. Well, they're it's a little league. Team, no-hitter. Little league franchise. That's what. Rinky. Wow. 
<laughs> but I hate the Cardinals. <laughs> just, Little League, they do play a lot. Do they play a lot of day games? Was that a seven inning game? Was that a seven inning? No, it actually wasn't. Wait, I'm not even counting the seven inning one that was thrown this year. Does that count as an official no hit? No. That's, that's nowhere in this total no hit. Nope. <laughs> so you're feeling good. I will say this. I don't think it is a done deal. I don't think you've got this locked up. Do you have more to say about it? Oh, I just think I think you're going to be sweating. I think you're going to be sweating it out to the end. What's the end? What month? You're in October. Late I think September? you're going to be. I think you're going to be in late September begging for a no hitter. <laughs> I know. Uh, I know of a desk if I need it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's. I oh, have no, we, have, we have our first. Somebody who's trying to use the I desk of doom it. for personal gain. There it is. <laughs> You know, I just I was just looking at the Dodgers lineup from last night. Not a single player, not a single batter with an average over two seventy. Yeah, Seattle's still in the league too, so that could happen to them on any <laughs> right. So, hey man, there's a lot of teams with, without good betting averages. No, uh, listen, I again it had nothing to do with you, it had everything to do with the Cubs. That's why I made the comment about the F and Dodgers. Um I think I think it's a really interesting shoot the boot guarantee that you made. You called it early because of the, the trend and all the sense in the world. And since then, Major League Baseball has changed you know, Put in this whole policy of hey, we're going to search you and all that. Um, it's it's interesting. Yeah, that doesn't help my cause. I no. don't like it. I'm you like, need two more, huh? Yeah. yeah. Stay with me. Uh, that's going to do. You're not allowed to do that. I will. I would not. I wouldn't, I wouldn't even think of it. Uh, for <laughs> wouldn't even smart. think of it, even though you just suggested. Right. What day is you guys off next? <laughs> <laughs> All right, feedback coming in on a variety of topics. My dad still wears Dracar, and I can't stand the smell of it. I'm 28, however, and still wear cologne almost daily. It's all about finding the right, the light, refreshing scent, and not something overpowering. My personal choice is Versace Eau de Parfum. Parfum. Uh, have fun pronouncing that on the air. LOL. Yeah, I butchered it. Oh, the parfum. Uh, I, I go with an Axe body spray. Do you? Sure. Uh, but I haven't used an actual cologne since I was 23. Okay, so it was Tracar. I will tell you, really? That's the yeah, last absolutely. cologne you applied was yep. Tracar. Yeah. Kang, tell me if this happens in your household. When your wife gets you a bottle of cologne, you wear said cologne. His she wife knows, hasn't got Oh, yeah, she knows better. Okay. Yeah. If, they would, if anyone would be my mom, I mean, she's just always buying me stuff I don't need. Wow. <laughs> like cologne. What else does she buy that you don't need? Unbelievable amounts of socks. Like that. Can't have enough socks. I'm not, I agree no, with that. No, not the socks she buys me. I don't, oh, oh. Big boy socks? Are they big boy socks? <laughs> They're just. That's what my mom calls. I got you big boy socks. Thanks, mom. Does <laughs> she still do it? Uh, Not as much. Not as much. No, but you know, you feel bad because you're like, obviously, they're trying to do something nice for you. Of course. You. Yes, birthday, you want to be respectful. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's okay. You. It goes the other way, too. I got my mom a couple of platters for her birthday. Wait, like, you know nice. she hates platters? No, I oh. thought they, they looked nice. I picked them up, and, and then and she's like, oh, these are beautiful. I'm like, oh, thanks. And by the time I left the house, she's like, you know, Scott, <laughs> I hope you still have the receipt for those because I just, I have so many I don't know what to do with, which is true. She probably does. So I'm like, oh, well, okay. If you don't want them, I'll take them. But see, I don't mind if, oh, like... if you don't want them, you can return them and get yourself something you need. What do you mean, <laughs> I'll take them? Because she doesn't want anything. <laughs> okay. what, I, I, I'd give her anything. She doesn't want anything. I'm like, what do you want? And she's like, a Hershey's bar is what she said. I'm like, really?